Hi, my name is Austin Kreider, and today I'm wearing my Hoosier jacket because we're going to talk about Hoosier tires. So today we're going to talk about tires and all the different styles, sizes, and the chart. As you can see here, we have a few tires that we got in to put in the stock and they're all different sizes this is the label telling you what the tire is it uh, generally has the part number at the top the 15325 is the part number the 33 is the diameter uh, the 5-6 is the rim size you can run the A35 is the compound uh, this is a right front tire and then of course it gives you a few other details on how to use the tire and as you can see we're going to get into our tire chart so here we printed this out off the Hoosier website and I'm going to try and zoom into the areas they call out asphalt and dirt but we kind of use them universally some for asphalt some for dirt sometimes we're using a dirt tire on an asphalt track sometimes we're using an asphalt tire on a dirt track depending on a compound I have a few uh, red marks in here because as you can see right there we've got a 11031 but when we look down here we have three different compounds for it a D10 D20A and an RD40 so in order to and to order that tire you have to take that D10 and put it after the part number to get that tire so that would be 11031 D10 or 11031 RD40 if that's the tire you want there's also a couple of mistakes on this chart right here they goofed up and put the wrong information there and um, right here that's really a right front and right rear so that's another mistake and then at the bottom of the chart they uh, forgot the R50 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that chart throw that away and then we have the corrected chart here and all these tires are available at inlinetube.com that's our website right there and that is the revised chart also has our our prices right there for each of the tires so you know so we'll refer back to that in a minute so the first thing you got to know about the tire or some general information about the tire is um, we talk about the diameter of the tire and the compound so at the bottom here it has the uh, a compound kind of rating and so where it starts is the softest tire or the softest compound is a D10, then a D20A, then a D30, or an A35, which it doesn't even list here. And then we have an RD40, well there's the A35 right there, and then an R50. So when you're looking from soft to hard, and the other one that's not on here is the R60A, which is really hard. So now we're going to grab a couple of those tires and press on them and see how soft they are. So we're going to go back to our stack here and right here I got a D10. And if I put that over here, I can I can press on that tire. It's super soft and you can see how soft it is. Now when I go to a we'll go to let's go to the D20A. I can press on it, but it's not quite as soft, and so it has a little bit of pushback on it. Then when we go over here to, uh, let's go to an R50. An R50, I can't even press that in, it's so hard. So that is a super hard tire. And then when we go to an R60, again, I can't even press that tire in. So why would you want a soft one over a hard one? In the beginning of the year when your track is super cold and it's not grippy you would want a d10 or a d20a but at the end of the season in august when your track is super hot and it's super grippy you might want to go to the rd or the r50 
But typically what you're going to start with is in the beginning of season, usually a good all around tire on that, that uh, left rear is going to be a D20A. And on your right front is going to be probably an A35 or again a D20A. Now the good news is on the right side of the car, you get to run the same tire every single time. So this is going to be a A35. So we're going to go to our A35 stack right here. This is going to be the tire you always run on your right front. And let's see, on the right rear, you are always going to be running this tire right there. So the easy side of the car is the right side of the car because there's only one choice and this is the choice. But on the left side, you can run any compound you want and any size you want. So again, you can run a 32 inch tire or you can run a 31 inch tire, which is right here. So it all depends on what size you want. So we're gonna talk about that for a few minutes. So back to our tire chart. Um, we have a variety of tires here and they tell you where they go and they give you the size with the approximate circumference. So the problem with this, this circumference is this says that this right rear is going to be 34.5. And when we go to measure that tire, we're going to measure it, and uh, that's this one right here. So we're going to grab it and see what the measurement is. And now we're going to look at the tire diameter. This tire is supposed to be 34.5 inches. So we're going to take our tape measure, we're going to wrap it around, and we really want to be in the center of this tire. And this tire measures about 34 and 3 eighths. But once you mount it, and once you put air in it, that's going to determine the final size. Now the crazy part is, even though all these tires are made at the same factory, when you start mounting them and putting them together, they all come out to be different sizes once you put air in them. Depending on the temperature in the room and how much air that's how big the tire is going to be. Generally, this tire works out to be 34 and a half, but I've seen it as high as 35 and as low as 34 and a quarter. So that will all depend on how much air. So if you want this tire to be a little bit bigger, you can pump it up with a little more air. If you want it to be a little bit smaller, you can take air out. So now let's go to a different tire here. We're going to go to this uh, 32 inch tire and let's measure that and see what that measures. And it's a little bit under, well, let's see, it's quite a bit under at uh, 31 and 5 eighths. So, but this is a short, so that's right about, that's right about where it should be. And we didn't talk about that, this yet. When you get a 32 inch tire and it says short SH, short means it's gonna be about a half inch in diameter shorter. So there's a 31, which we have right here, which this 31 should measure about 31 inches and it's pretty close it's uh, 30 and 3 quarter and then a 32 inch tire if we can find it that's a short this is a uh, 32 inch tire right here this one should measure around 32 inches and it's 31 and 3 quarters 5 eighths and but when we get to the short the short is generally a half inch below 32 inches so it's kind of in between a 31 and a 32 and again that one measures about 31 and 5 eighths so to get whatever tire you you desire you have some choices to make now we're going to talk about the rim diameter right here in our chart it says recommended rim width so that 5.5 to 6 means you can run this on a 5 inch wheel, a 5.5 inch wheel, or a 6 inch wide wheel. And um, what that means is if you take this tire and you put it in a 5 inch wheel, you're going to smush it a little bit and it's going to grow in size. If you run it on a 6 inch wheel, you're basically going to stretch it and that tire is going to be a little bit shorter. So. You have three different rim sizes, three different uh, tire sizes, 
and three times three is nine, so that gives you nine different combinations of where that tire is going to end up being. So that's a lot of combinations. And why do, why do you want that many combinations? Because when we talk about stagger, you're going to want all different sizes, and this left rear tire is going to be the one you're going to be changing to try and get your stagger where you want it. Now what we're going to talk about is left side tires versus right side tires. We already talked about the right side tires. You only have one choice. Your right side tires are going to be the big fat one in the back, which is the A35 NY1. And in the front, it's going to be this 33 A35 NY1. So that takes care of your right sides. On your left sides, when you scan across here, now your left side, you have all kinds of choices. So what we're going to talk about is a standard right uh, left front. Left front is generally an A35 or a D20A. That's what most people start with. They generally start with a 32 inch and a 32 inch on the back. So the front one, I would probably run this A35 32 inch. And in the rear, starting out in red rookie or blue rookie, I would run this 32 D20A. Now you could put this D20A on both the front and the back and then you would have less tires to change or less tires to order and it wouldn't make one bit of difference. The front tire though, we always mount that on a five inch rim and the back tire, we could go with a five inch rim as well to keep it consistent so you could run this tire on both your left front and uh, left rear or you could go to this tire. Now, when you start getting into the upper classes, that's when you're going to start changing the tires, the stagger, and you're going to get more tires. But as a beginner, this is the tire you're going to run on the left side, D20A, and on the right side, A35 NY1s. So to make it real simple, you could order two of these tires, two 5-inch rims, and then you'd go to your right sides and order those standard tires, and that would get you started. So again, just to remind you, Inline Tube stocks all the tires. We have plenty of them in stock. If we don't have them in stock, it takes us one day to get them, but we stock every tire size. And again, this is the tire chart for you to refer to. This is also on the Hoosier website at Hoosier.com. But again, our chart, we made the appropriate uh, corrections and our chart has the cost of the tire on the right hand side so you know what the tire costs and what you're buying. So thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you at the racetrack. Thanks for watching our Hoosier Tire video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you at the racetrack.